One of the most common questions in the world of military aviation is what's more important, innovation or the development of existing technologies? Lockheed Martin decided to answer this not with words, but rather with deeds, by modernizing its F-35 fighters so as to bring them as close as possible to sixth-generation aircraft. And although at first glance comparing a fighter jet to a NASCAR race car sounds like a strange joke, this is exactly how Lockheed described their new approach to improving the F-35. But will this be enough to be competitive against the background of future Boeing F-47 fighters? Today we'll be trying to figure out exactly that. The development of the F-35 multi-role stealth fighter began back in 1995 with the birth of the Joint Strike Fighter program and its first prototype, the X-35, took off in October of 2000. And although they had to wait another five years before the first flight of a full-fledged F-35A, the creators of this aircraft clearly understood that they were preparing a serial workhorse to replace most U.S. fighters with variants of the same design, common to all branches of the military. Additionally, unlike its acclaimed predecessor F-22 Raptor, Lightning II was named after the Lockheed P-38 Lightning during World War II and was initially developed together with foreign partners with an eye on the prospect of becoming the most popular aircraft in the world. Spoiler alert, it succeeded. After all, back in early 2024, Lockheed Martin announced an important milestone, the 1000th F-35 airframe rolled off the assembly line, and in April 2025, it consolidated the success of the 1000th center wing assembly, which makes up about a quarter of fighters' fuselage and is the largest individual component of the aircraft. However, one of the most important components of these fifth-generation symbols is quite rightly considered not their impressively secretive shell, but rather the insides, which provide the F-35 with incredible computing power, which is why they were sometimes called a computer that just so happens to fly. If you ask Lockheed engineers which component of the F-35 has led to the most sleepless nights in crunch time, you almost certainly hear about mission systems. This is not surprising, given the 8.6 million lines of code required even in the penultimate update to the Block 3F software. It's scary to imagine how much sweat and tears were shed in the process of preparing the latest Block 4 improvement. Block 4 will be gradually introduced into service from the late 2020s to the mid-2030s to avoid critical shortcomings. The update integrates additional Lightning II weapons, including some unique munitions for international customers, improved sensor capabilities, a new and APG-85 AESA radar, additional ESM bandwidth, as well as support for remotely operated video-enhanced receiver rover. Just as importantly, the Lockheed team has placed an even greater emphasis on agile software development to ensure that any upgrades to the F-35 can be released quickly. A key development for Block 4 was the technology REFRESH3TR3 avionics enhancement, which includes a new display, core processor, and memory modules to support increased processing requirements. And of course, they did not forget about engine modernization, exploring not only the issue of improving the Pratt & Whitney F-135 units used in Lightning II, but also efforts to develop completely new adaptive cycle engines. The F-35 fleet was expected to receive powertrain upgrades throughout its life cycle to adapt to future war threats and provide additional capabilities. To this end, the Adaptive Engine Transition Program AETP, was launched in 2016. A little later, in 2018, Pratt & Whitney signed contracts to develop the XA-101 and XA-100. Adaptive cycle engines, respectively, with a thrust of 45,000 pound-feet for potential use in the F-35. After another three years, AETP was revised, renamed the Adaptive Engine Development Program, and focused on integrating new technologies for a wide range of military platforms beyond the original F-35. By 2022, the F-35 Adaptive Engine Replacement Program was formed for future integration of the XA-100 and XA-101 engines, and in 2023, the U.S. Air Force nevertheless decided to opt for the improvement of the F-135 base engines proposed by Pratt & Whitney, called Engine Core Upgrade AQ. This is an update to the power module, originally called Growth Option 1.0 and later Engine Enhancement Package, which increases engine thrust and fuel consumption by 5% as well as cooling capacity by 50% to support Block IV. This doesn't mean the U.S. 
Air Force is giving up on possibly integrating the XA-100 and XA-101 into its Lightning II fleet in the 2030s and 2040s, it's just that for now we have a slightly better chance of seeing them installed and slightly modified in future next-generation air dominance fighters than in the F-35. But what we'll definitely see working with the F-35 very soon is various drones. For example, Project Carrera, which is being developed by the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works Division, will include speed racer UAVs costing about $1 million, capable of conducting reconnaissance and electronic warfare, working as one cohesive team with a fleet of existing Lightning IIs, as well as common multi-mission truck CMMT cruise missiles with a range of over 500 miles, costing about $150,000 per unit. Drones will greatly assist pilots by forming a distributed architecture in which an F-35 pilot will be able to control eight unmanned platforms simultaneously using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Missiles, in turn, are positioned as a more affordable alternative to ammunition, such as the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. The Speed Racer's slightly more expensive unmanned counterpart, the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie, has a price tag of about $4 million. This one is part of the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory's Attributable Aircraft Technology LCAAT, and is being created as an accompaniment for the F-35 and F-22 during various combat missions. It features stealth technology, a trapezoidal fuselage with a pointed edge, AV-shaped tail and S-shaped air intakes. The interesting thing is that the XQ-58 feels great as part of a swarm of UAVs, operates under the control of a friendly fighter pilot or without it and is also capable of being launched from exotic launch modules like support ships, shipping containers and semi-trailer trucks. Furthermore, information recently appeared regarding the possibility of using electronic warfare equipment in conjunction with Lightning II to strengthen the assault support platforms all under the Penetrating Affordable Autonomous Collaborative Killer Program. And while it's not even close to miniature at 30 feet long, it's unlikely that any fighter pilot would turn down the 1,200 pounds of additional weapons the Valkyrie can fire from its internal and external weapons bays. But the fundamental unmanned help for the F-35 and NGAD fighter program will certainly be Collaborative Combat Aircrafts CCA, a new generation of combat drones operating in conjunction with manned F-22, F-35 and NGAD fighters. Such drones are often called Loyal Wingmen, but CCA goes beyond this concept, since it performs a much wider range of tasks, including air combat, electronic warfare, reconnaissance and targeting, striking ground and sea targets, as well as jamming and disinformation campaigns on the enemy. Moreover, all this is further flavored with artificial intelligence for complete autonomy of drones, a modular architecture that's easily adapted to a specific mission, the ability to work in a swarm and, most importantly, a relatively low cost. So far, the U.S. Air Force plans to purchase about 1,000 CCAs in a 2 to 1 ratio of which 600 units will be for a fleet of 300 F-35 fighters and another 400 of these UAVs will be for a fleet of 200 NGAD fighters. Moreover, in the future, this number, according to Air Force representatives, can be increased to 2,000 or more drones based on the control of 3-5 CCA by one Lightning II or NGAD aircraft.